Abby Webster, Sally Carmen, faced yet more turmoil in tonight's Coronation Street, as she found herself homeless. The episode began with sister-in-law Debbie, Sue Devaney, presenting Abby with a morning paper, expressing her disgust over the front page spread revealing Abby as the mother who abandoned her surprise newborn baby last week. Strangely, Debbie seemed certain that baby Alfie was Kevin's, Michael Lavelle, despite the fact that she was now in the know about Abby's one-night stand. But we digress, the point is, the whole of Weatherfield was now talking about Abby's recent actions. But Abby was more concerned with heading to the hospital for son Alfie's barrel operation, and when Kevin turned up to show his support she broke down in his arms. With Kev convinced by Abby's story that she had cheated with Seb's dad Tez, Stephen Lord, she played along that her baby was his, keeping quiet about Imran Habib's, Charlie Demelu involvement. Abby and Kevin had a frank heart-to-heart, -heart, and as a nurse informed them that Alfie was recovering well, Kevin suggested that Abby stay at the house while her custody battle was ongoing. He later faced the difficult task of telling son Jack, Kyron Bowes, about Abby's betrayal. Jack was angry and refused to live at home while Abby was there. Despite the complex situation, Kevin stuck to his promise if Abby could remain clean from drugs. But Abby was left mortified when she mistook Kevin's kindness for affection and leaned in for a kiss. Kevin made it very clear that their marriage was definitely over, and as Abby accepted this, she told him she would pack the rest of her things and leave straight away. Heading out into the night, Abby bumped into secret baby daddy Imran and his oblivious fiancée Toya Battersby, Georgia Taylor, who offered her a bed for a night. But an anxious Imran made excuses and Abby quickly left them to it. Where will Abby go now, and what will her next move be? She needs permanent accommodation if she has any chance of keeping her son in her life, but things are currently looking rather bleak for her. Can she stay strong in the face of constant heartache? Here's hoping.